Hey y'all, thanks so much for coming back to another What's For Dinner video. Today's video is in collaboration with my friend Brittany Harris from Brit's Kitchen. She is a Louisiana native who now lives in Georgia and all of her What's For Dinner videos look so phenomenal. So don't forget to go and check her out. I will have her video linked in my description box below. If you're here from Brittany's channel, thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video enough to stick around. It would totally make my day if you subscribed and gave me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you're here from her channel. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first recipe that I'm going to share with you is foil chicken. You want to start out by patting dry one package of chicken thighs or however many you may need and season them generously with your favorite seasoning blend. Today I'm using Tony's. Then you can go ahead and pan fry your chicken on medium heat and a little bit of olive oil until they are a nice caramel color. While the chicken finishes browning, you can go ahead and make a sauce with one can of cream of chicken and a little bit of half and half. You want it to be a semi-runny consistency, so just keep adding in that half and half until you get it to where you like it. And then I also added the drippings from the pan after my chicken was finished cooking. Then when you finish all of that, you can go ahead and wrap two pieces of chicken in some foil with potatoes, garlic, and onions. Season with garlic and herb seasoning and then drizzle about a tablespoon of sauce over the top. After you wrap all of your chicken, you can just go ahead and set them on a cookie sheet and stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour and a half. This turned out so stinking good and I will definitely be making this on a regular basis. I drizzled the same sauce on the broccoli and just put that in the oven at 350 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Next up is cheeseburger pasta and you want to start out by browning one to one and a half pounds of ground beef. Season it with some garlic and herb seasoning and red pepper flakes. After your meat starts to brown, you can go ahead and add in one chopped onion. So go ahead and drain your grease and then add in about one tablespoon of tomato paste and a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Mix that all up really well and then add in one carton of beef broth and about half a package of elbow noodles. Bring it to a boil and then add in one tablespoon of roasted garlic paste and a little bit of seasoning. Then cover it and lower the heat to a medium low. Let it cook for 10 minutes and as you can see my noodles stuck a little bit to the bottom but no worries it didn't ruin the dish. You can go ahead and stir in 8 ounces of sour cream, half a cup of milk, and two and a half cups of freshly shredded cheddar cheese. I do want to mention that if you are not a fan of sour cream, you probably only want to add four ounces instead of eight ounces because you could really taste the sour cream in this dish. When it was finished, I cracked some pepper over the top and served it with just a little bit more cheese. This was really good, but like I said, just add about four ounces of sour cream if you're not a big fan of the flavor of sour cream. Next up is smothered chicken, and you're gonna start out by cooking four pieces of bacon. While the bacon is cooking, go ahead and cut two chicken breasts in half, cover them with plastic wrap, and then beat the chicken flat. After you pat the chicken dry, you can go ahead and coat it in all-purpose flour seasoned with Tony's. Mm -hmm. 
When the bacon is done, remove it from the pan and pour the grease out in a bowl to the side and wipe away the crumbs from the pan. Add two to three tablespoons of bacon grease back to the pan with about half a cup of vegetable oil and let that oil heat and then go ahead and fry your chicken up two at a time. When the chicken is fried, you can go ahead and remove it from the pan, drain the grease, and make sure you get any big crumbs out of the bottom of the pan, but leave the browning on the bottom. Add half a stick of butter to pick up the browning, and then once the butter melts, add in four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, stir it around until it becomes a little pasty, then slowly add in one-third of a cup of half and half and two and a half cups of chicken broth. Don't let the chunks scare you whenever you start stirring that all in. It will dissolve into a creamy sauce. Bring it to a boil and then add in one teaspoon of better than bouillon beef and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Keep stirring and boiling until everything is dissolved and then add in some garlic and herb seasoning. Bring your temperature down to low and add your chicken and bacon back in and then you are ready to serve. This was really, really good and comforting. I served it over mashed potatoes with some green beans and rolls on the side. So next up is creamy taco soup. You wanna start out by browning one pound of ground beef. I seasoned my meat with some Tony's. Once that browns up really well, you want to go ahead and drain the grease. And after it is all drained, you can add in one can of Rotel, one can of corn, one can of black beans, and one can of kidney beans. Mix it all together and add two cups of water, one chopped onion, one pack, oh, I'm sorry, two packs of taco seasoning. And then I also added in some garlic jalapeno seasoning and onion powder. After you've got all that mixed together, you can go ahead and add one tablespoon of beef better than bouillon and one tablespoon of tomato paste. Bring it to a boil and add in one block of cream cheese. I find that the cream cheese dissolves better if you cut it into small cubes first. Also, the Philadelphia brand is really the only brand that I can get to dissolve all the way. Anytime I try Great Value or something like that, I can never get it to dissolve all the way. It's still kind of clumpy. This dissolves so good and it's really smooth and creamy. And that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will see you next time. Bye.